As some of you may know, I am making my own first person roguelike boomer shooter where you sacrifice your own body to progress, but now I need to make another game as well as finish that one. But I really don't want to abandon Rose, I've been working on it for, well, year and a half at this point, but I also started studying uh, game design at a university and surprisingly they want us to make games, but those games can't be like sold commercially, so I need to make another game just for the university. But at the same time I am still working on my own game, so how can I do this as a solo game dev? Basically I'm making two quite large projects at once. So what's gonna happen with Rose? Uh, what is the new game about? And how am I going to handle all of this? I guess let's start with the most pressing issue, which is what I'm going to do about Rose. Don't worry, I'm still working on the game, just the progress will be slower, because now I have to make another game as well, and I don't want to burn myself out. I originally planned to release the game at the end of February of the next year, which is obviously not gonna happen, the game is nowhere near being finished, so that was unrealistic even in the case of me just working on that game. I wanted to delay by just a few months but honestly I was getting really stressed about it and so I gave myself the next nine months to finish the game. So I moved the release date of Rose to September of 2024. I wouldn't want to move it any further but if I have to I will. Also I wanted to ask you what do you think about releasing the game in early access. Basically I've got a playable beta version on Steam, you can check it out, it's for free. Let me know what you think about the game and what do you think should be in a game like this for it to be suitable for early access and is that something you would say is a good idea for me to do. So let me know what your thoughts about that are. I hope this is understandable. Now let's move on to what I'm planning to do as the other game. I already started working on this a bit about two months ago. I've been doing a lot of planning because I have about six months to finish this game and I need to plan a lot of things ahead so the production goes as smoothly as possible. It's going to be a survival RPG with a lot of choices how to complete the story. I at least hope I will be able to do that. And it will be basically like heavily dialogue driven with some survival mechanics, just like managing your health and food and fuel because you will be traveling on a bike. But also you will be getting a child with you and you will have to basically manage resources between uh, your character and the child and that will be creating different like dynamics in the dialogues. If the child is doing poorly your mental state will be affected and you will have to decide you know am I going to spend like valuable resources on this child or am I just going to hoard it for myself and also you need to manage your, your fuel for the bike and decide which paths you're going to take. If you're gonna risk more and take shorter paths or drive the long way around and risk running out of fuel. Basically our goal is to find the child's mother and get to safety. Now I will see how much I can do in six months and I'm not promising that all of this is going to be in the final game. This is just my vision right now. So what tools am I using to plan this game out? Actually the idea started as a completely text-based experience in Inky, which is this like middleware for just writing out the text which can then be imported to different engines. Initially I experimented with integrating Ink into Unreal Engine, I used different plugins but I wasn't really happy with any of them because I need to see the story visually. So I ended up using a different plugin which I then modified a bit which allows me to basically use the behavior tree visualization in Unreal Engine to create dialogues. So it looks like this. Before I I write the dialogue inside Unreal. Uh, I actually have a mirror board with all different like, visual references as well as the whole structure for the entire story. This took about three months to put together and you know it's not finished by any means it will still go through many iterations but at least I have settled on something which I'm kind of happy with and now I'm writing out the individual scenes. Now because this is actually a big game for me to make in six months there are some limits I deliberately like put onto myself. The traveling on the bike will be limited to just choosing a point on a map clicking and that's it you won't be like really driving the bike and 
point you will be just like traveling between different small maps with different encounters which you can you know solve by dialogues or sneaking around and different approaches will trigger different dialogues and then your stats like health your mental state will determine the outcome of the dialogue also you will be able to carry a very limited amount of items which can then change the dialogue a bit as well from the start i'm putting limitations on myself so the scope doesn't grow into something even bigger and i know that even this will be quite difficult for me to finish in time but we will see i also made an excel sheet where i have all the major mechanics written written out and i've assigned difficulty and importance to them so i can choose what things must be completed which things i have to prioritize and lastly i have got a game design document where i have got all the key information about the game what's it about what are the mechanics what's the story all the characters like describe their profiles this is very useful for me to have a document like this basically this document is something that i can always return to if i lose the vision of the game or i get lost in the production and this is something that will keep me hopefully going in the right direction so now i would like to show you a bit from the new game i have basically the whole dialogue system done i am using a dialogue plugin for unreal engine i've modified the code a bit so it allows me to trigger events not just at the start of the dialogue but also at the end and using like the event functionality that the pl plugin provides i can trigger different uh, visual effects also play animation during the dialogues this was one of the rare instances where i just couldn't use blueprints so i had to delve into the c side of unreal which was interesting to say the least but i managed to find my way around that too and i was able to actually quite easily modify this plugin i can definitely recommend it if you prefer things like twine or mirror for visualizing the text the story now i'm using blockouts for the levels and for the characters i don't have the models done yet i'm starting to make some environments and i've been messing around with post-processing once again i'm using my favorite asset which is chameleon for post-processing and visual effects whenever i want to play a visual effect i spawn an instance of chameleon actor and using timeline I modify different effects that Chameleon provides in real time. I can do screen flashes, blur effects and all kinds of things because I am not a good animator and it would take me too much time to make all the animations I want to have in the game. I decided to make it more into like comics style thing where the dialogue will switch between different poses for the characters and not whole animations. I'm using the character rig inside Unreal so I can pose those characters in the environment inside of the engine so I don't even need to animate inside blender or maya or somewhere else i'm doing it all in unreal and i can access these sequences from the dial plugin and call specific frames of these sequences basically when i move through the dialogue i move to a specific frame in a level sequence and just don't play the sequence just stay on that one frame and that way i can for one animate the character this way and move things in the environment and add visual effects like this those are basically 3d meshes that create these comics like effects in the dialogue i'm also thinking about limiting the color palette to just monochromatic with these pop colors for interactions and dialogues not decided 100% on that yet but it would save me a lot of time if i wouldn't have to deal with colors basically but let me know what you think about this this game will be at some point publicly playable hopefully so i would like to hear your input as well and i would like to end on a thing which i've discovered which was slightly surprising to me because i was expecting that making two games at once would just be a lot of stress but actually i found out that when i take a break from making crows i am actually more excited to go back to it and work on it again and maybe this switching two projects will actually be in the long run more productive more fun for me because it tends to happen that i just get sick of working on that one project for an extended period of time so we shall see but so far i'm seeing this as a positive experience and i hope that you are not too too upset about the game being delayed hope you can understand that and yeah i don't know if this is gonna be a series of devlogs for this game or what's gonna happen don't really know how i'm gonna manage my time right now yeah just wanted to let you know what's going on and hopefully see you soon so bye